The tree of life is both on both sides of the water. Is so it's available to all, Jew and Gentile, Arab. The tree of life is on both sides, heaven and earth. The kingdom of God is heaven and earth together, separated or connected by the holy street with the water of life. The street is to bring God and man together. Once man and God are together, the spirit can flow abundantly like a living fountain. The water is God's spirit and love, power, glory, eternal life, grace, mercy, and blessing. There is so much spirit it's a flood. The water is mostly God's blessing. God's spirit and blessing is upon our offspring. The water is God's presence. The righteous wrath is revealed from heaven just as I am. Abraham is the father of all the righteous waiting for heaven to open. All are at his side. There is suffering and comforting while asleep waiting for the resurrection. While asleep in the afterlife, you'll think it's all a dream until resurrected to the truth that is eternal. Even if you want to cross over after death, you can't. Your faith is sealed. There is a great chasm between the sea and hell. So you can see those above you who are heaven bound. And it adds to your torment. Heaven above, hell below. The sea is also from, for the good people who didn't have a chance to know Jesus. There is no more sea because all the saved will know Jesus and will not need further purifying. No more sea because the lake of fire bound will know they are going and do not need to be shown why. Hades phrases are to show why the lake of fire is deserved and the torment of guilt. Hades is thrown into the lake of fire after all have been shown that the punishment is just. There are different levels of punishment, but you're still in the same place in the lake of fire. I will try to torment you so much, righteously torment you, that you change your mind. The righteous wrath is to convince you to change also. We are like vessels that are only so full and Jesus fills us up to the rim 
so much that we overflow and bubble over. Devil man tries to tell us if we drink and smoke, we are not Christian. Because the devil would like us to think it's almost impossible to be a Christian. Drinking is bad if it causes you to sin and stumble. We have inherited the earth. There shall be an abundance of peace. The blessed shall inherit the earth. The righteous shall inherit the land. The meek shall inherit the earth. The exalted shall inherit the land. God is exalting me and us. Would you accuse Jesus of sinning because he drank? He said, don't accuse me of sinning just because of drinking. The wicked are being cut off. New Jerusalem is the bride of but New Jerusalem is also the church brought to fulfill fullness. New Jerusalem is from heaven because it's a God thing. Anything that is a God thing is coming down from heaven. If it's from God, it's from heaven. I am washed clean by the water of the Word, the Spirit of the Holy Word. Jerusalem, the church, is also washed by the Word to make it holy. This is the great washing by the Word to make all holy in the kingdom. Washing by the word is also the righteous fire of God. That's why it's a sea of glass mixed with fire. Standing on the sea of glass and not in it is because they are already clean. The church must be cleansed of all unrighteousness. It must be holy and faultless. Adam and Eve were the first couple for God to create offspring. The first man and wife, Adam and Eve, were of God. All will fear God. We have been under God's judgment since Adam. Now it's time to lift it after the white throne judgment. Regaining paradise is part of the salvation plan. The earth has been cursed because of sin. 